For decades, even through the height of the Cold War, Finland plotted a careful course of neutrality as NATO and Russia vied for supremacy in Europe. But the tide has turned in the space of a few months. Finland is on the brink of joining NATO. It's clear that everything has changed since Russia started the war in Ukraine and we have to do our own decisions now according to our own national interest. What is the best uh, way to ensure security of Finns and Finland? We are part of the West and now you could see that this NATO membership is it's sort of finalization of our Western integration. Public opinion has changed since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Late last year, one quarter of the Finnish population supported joining NATO. The latest poll shows 76% now favour joining the alliance. We cannot live with such an unpredictable neighbour in the way we used to. And so NATO is the only option we end up with as a security solution. Uh, if you look at the geographical facts, we are the only non-NATO neighboring country to Russia which hasn't been invaded so far. So I think that pretty much tells, tells the reason why we should be joining. I don't trust Russia that much. Finland is mulling a joint NATO membership application with Sweden, which until now has also maintained a non-aligned status. The alliance has made it clear that Finland and Sweden would be warmly welcomed as members, possibly within the next few months. Both are members of the European Union. Their forces regularly take part in NATO military exercises and are skilled in Arctic warfare. They would significantly boost alliance capabilities in the Baltic and Northern Europe, where Russia maintains a massive military presence. It would be a substantial uh, uh, group of Nordic nations within the alliance in, in the future, and this has a meaning. Uh, second is, is military capabilities and, and know-how. So I think we have a, a modern, uh, capable defense that we have been building throughout the years. Russia has threatened what it calls a military technical response if Finland and Sweden join NATO including deploying nuclear weapons in the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad. But such nuclear threats may have backfired. It is speaking out this threat in a way that we did not really even see during the Cold War, which is of some concern. And one of the outspoken reasons for the Finnish political elite to say Finland's defense may be strong, but we will never be able to build a robust nuclear deterrent. The only way to do that is by joining NATO. Before his invasion of Ukraine, Russian President Vladimir Putin demanded that NATO pull back its forces in Eastern Europe. Instead, the alliance looks set to admit new members. To now have radically changed these two countries' security and defense policy thinking in a matter of months is certainly must be seen as a yet another strategic failure by Putin. For Finland and Sweden, NATO membership would represent a sea change in its strategic outlook.